Hi everybody, welcome back. Um, I'm currently trying my best to not look like a Brit abroad, but I'm failing dismally. Um, it's really hot here. Um, I'm on the island of Menorca in the Mediterranean, not too far from the Spanish mainland, and full confession time, this Balearic Island is one of my favourite places on the entire planet. I've been coming here for uh, about six years now, but don't worry, I'm not gonna. I'm just just about to start doing some nonsense video about me having a, a holiday. I'm actually off to visit a very old client called Sean Brannigan and his partner Moitzer, who moved here about ten years ago from East London. Um, although Sean himself is originally from Manchester, uh, but since moving over here, he's re redeveloped a gorgeous old 18th century stone house and into a very cool arts hotel called the Fragile Hotel, right in the middle of Suter which is the original historic capital of the island. Um, I've been wanting to do a video of this place for a while now as it's um, just been put up for sale. Uh, Sean and his family are returning to the UK. So I'm here and I thought, well, why not? Um, so today's tour won't be the normal style. I've only got a very small window to get there, shoot the rooms quickly in between turnover um, as it's the very end of June and um, the high season's just kicked in and it's gone absolutely crazy for him. Um, I, don't, I don't want to get in the way. Um, so let's head off and I'll discuss the detail when I'm on the way back. Right, I've just finished and I can't tell you how happy I am to be back in an air-conditioned car. It's so hot out there today. And I'm gonna get through this before it's all, while it's all uh, fresh in my head. Um, honestly, this place is so cool. The rooms are all design-led, very stylish, and there's just five of them to look after, so it makes it a really manageable boutique hotel. There's a bar area and terrace at the rear which I couldn't film today because it was packed uh, but it holds around 10 tables and some comfy seating and there's more restaurant seating inside and also outside the front of the hotel as well. The reception area is located inside the entrance just as you pass through the glass door on your right and then you've got the bedrooms which are all located on the first and second floors. They've all got ensuite showers and there's one one has got a, like an open plan bath in the room and they've all got musical, musically influenced names. There is a lift but the original stone staircase is gorgeous, really well restored. It's a real Mediterranean styled sun bleached um, void with art in the, on the walls as well. There's a roof terrace with some spectacular views. Um, because we're in the middle of the old town here you're in the shadow of the church so you've got this great view and that's always that whole area is popular with tourists as well um, and there's, sorry, there's also a chef's kitchen on the ground floor and a big basement I can really see why this is so popular uh, and the fact that it's set in Sutadea is also which is a really great destination is just a real bonus in itself you can wander around the streets this full of it's full of whitewashed historic homes you've got some fabulous restaurants down in the harbour you've got some lovely bars artisan gift shops all dotted around the market square um, anyway I think I'll leave it there because I'm sounding like a, a tour guide right the business side of things um, if you've if you've ever fancied leaving the city behind or starting a new life or a business elsewhere then this might be of interest. The whole thing is up for sale as a, as a turnkey business for 1.875 million euro. So that is around 1.5 million sterling, that's just over 2 million US dollars, that's just over 3 million Australian dollars and that's around 2.7 million Canadian dollars. And the reason I mention all these currencies is that's purely because all of the comments and the feedback I've had so far have been from viewers in those countries, so I thought I'd give that all a mention. And obviously this um, is obviously based on today's exchange rate, so just bear that in mind, please. Um, if you'd like to visit, um, I can arrange an inspection, but that would be strictly by appointment only, please. Um, please don't just turn up. Sean's happy to share his accounts and talk you through how sex successful the place is, but he would like to do that face-to-face, -face. so please email directly if you'd like to know more. Um, I'll also leave some descriptions to the hotel, also links, sorry, to the hotel in the descriptions below. Right, I think that's me done for the day. As always, thank you very much for watching. Please do give it a thumbs up if you've liked it. Um, consider subscribing to the channel if you would, that'd be great, I'd really appreciate that. Um, especially if you're into alternative places and you'll get to see more of those as I visit them. So that's me done, thank you again. Um, I'm off for a beer, adios.